Welcome to St. Peter's University Hospital. We are thrilled that you chose St. Peter's to have the birth of your child. St. Peter's is a very special place to have your baby. We really want to be able to meet all your needs and not only yours, but also your family's. At St. Peter's during the birth of your baby, we really strive to have a family-centered approach. Uh, we, we involve the families. We, we find out from the mother really what you want your experience to be. So when you first arrive at St. Peter's, you, you enter through the Women and Children's Pavilion on the ground floor. You'll be greeted by the front desk. Who will then direct you upstairs to our labor and delivery, which is located on the fourth floor. On the fourth floor, they're going to ask you, you'll stop at the desk, the registration desk, and they will ask you to fill out paperwork. Uh, some of this paperwork you have already filled out, but really we need to confirm that there's been no changes. So that part is very important that we go over it again. So once you fill out your paperwork um, at the front desk with admitting, then we take you into a triage room where you're met with a nurse who does your vital signs. Um, along with the physician, they determine whether your proper destination should be. If you're in active labor, you go into our labor and delivery room. If you're here just to have a uh, non-stress test, we have a unit that's dedicated for non-stress tests. We really have dedicated areas so that there's not a backup or a waste when you arrive here at St. Peter's and we really strive to make sure that you get properly and quickly to the location you need to go to. So you're in active labor, exciting time. You're taken in the back to our main labor and delivery where we have 15 beautiful labor and delivery rooms. Um, we're also equipped with three ORs if any emergency should happen. We have highly trained staff. Our nurses have been here for quite a while. They have great depth of knowledge and skill level. And so, you know, you're admitted into a room with your, your husband, your partner, and that's where you stay until you have the baby. At that point when you're in labor and you're in the room, um, we do ask you if you have a birth plan. And if you have a birth plan and was it reviewed with your physician. And we look it over and St. Peter's has one that we have on our website. And we've developed this so that we're able to meet the needs of moms. And we really have put on there things that we can accommodate. But it's very important to have that discussion with your provider if they agree with your birth plan. We encourage mothers to bring in personal things. We have individual refrigerators in each room, and you can put your own food, uh, drinks in there for during labor, uh, because this is gonna be a time for you where you need to be comfortable. Perhaps you wanna be able to bring in your own music, or if there's aromatherapy, we really want to be able to accommodate you. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to be surrounded by things that make you comfortable. So as long as your physician has agreed for you to be able to get out of bed and move around, and many physicians do, um, but that's a conversation that you need to have with your physician, we do offer wireless fetal monitoring. The baby is able to be monitored very closely by the central station that we have at the nurse's station where we see what the baby's heart rate is doing at all times. But yet mom can get up and you can walk around the room, you can walk around the unit, and we're still able to pick up that baby's heart rate. So we encourage walking for the laboring mom. It's important that the physician is in agreement with it. As long as mom and baby are safe, we encourage it because walking really progresses the labor and mom can become more comfortable when she's upright, moving in various uh, positions. So you've had your baby. What a glorious time. For St. Peter's, it's important for us to make sure that the family stays together. So we keep the baby in the room with the mom. And whether you've had a vaginal delivery or a C-section, the baby does stay with mom. So it's important to us here at St. Peter's that mom doesn't miss some of these first. In the past, the baby would go to a regular nursery. Mom would miss all her, the first with the baby, whether it be the first bath, the first wait. But now that doesn't happen. Mom is able to witness it all. Then the mom and the baby, the entire family, then moves to the postpartum floor as a unit. So we never separate. 
So another layer of protection that we offer here at St. Peter's is an electronic footprinting system that we do for our babies. In the years past, we used to do the old ink and paper with the, the footprints, and those would fade over time. So we're able to take the baby's footprint electronic, and then we compare it with the mom's fingerprint, and we take a photo of the baby's face, and it all goes together in a database that uh, connects mom, baby together. Then we're, we print out your certificate, and then once you go home, you're able to customize it, and then you're able to share it with all your friends, and these are actual footprints of the baby. In order for you to go home, it's important that the physician comes in and he has checked you and everything is stable and you're able to go home. Then a pediatrician will also check your baby on the day of discharge to make sure the baby is ready to go. The nurse will come in and she will review all your education to make sure that you understand how to care for yourself and the baby before going home. This is the time to ask any questions that you may have, whether it pertains to you or your baby. The nurses are there to be able to answer those questions so that you can go home comfortably and safely. Thank you for choosing St. Peter's.